Um, I mean, I'm always confident. Um, my teammates allow me to be confident, and I know they trust me to, to make the play, whether it's a pass or a shot. So um, I'll just go out there and just trying to do my job and just try to make the play. You're going to need more numbers. That's... Yeah, I mean, we get down to that point, and it doesn't really seem to phase us that much. I think there was a point last game, uh, it didn't happen this game, but last game where me and Braxton just kind of looked at each other like, we've been here about 20 times this season. So um, I don't really think that we get nervous the same way. I mean, even last year it was the same. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's the best uh, send-off we can give them. Uh, especially with a team like Louisville. Um, you know, we wanted to win for them, uh, to honor them, what they've done for the program. Jeff? Yeah. He had posted up at the end of the first half. Uh, part of your game. Uh, I mean, we work off playing off, too, in the pain, and I kind of just try to make a move, and, yeah, that, I guess it's in my repertoire now. David? <laughs> <laughs> Surprised, but not really. I mean, I've guarded smaller people before. I mean, most of the most time, guys school, small, yeah, yeah. Most, time, most of the time in high school, I was guarding guys smaller than me, so I'm kind of used to it. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that it worked out, yeah. And Brad, Jake, this, is, this would have been right the same day for the 2016 class. I mean, it means a lot considering, you know, a lot of people early on were saying, oh, this is a down year, you know, they're not going to do well this year, basically. Um, and it is great to, you know, prove people wrong. Um, just trying to, oh, just trying to, um, just get my shots through the offense. Don't want to be too passive, because um, last year guys, uh, uh, other teams kind of like keyed off me and kind of backed up off me. So trying to stay aggressive, and I know my role has progressed this year, and scoring a little more is part of my job. So um, just trying to be aggressive, because then that leaves lanes for like Jay on the lob or uh, Thomas coming off uh, threes on the shake. So just trying to be aggressive. So um, they got to keep us honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is, it was definitely like a big part of what we wanted to do early on in the season when we had a rough patch. Um, I think that, you know, kind of gave us a little kick in the pants we needed. And I think that, you know, last year was last year. Um, obviously, it was a great season. Uh, obviously, that's the standard we want to set. But at the same time, I think we knew that we had to do this because we wanted to, not just because people before us have. I gotta be honest, I don't recall things too well sometimes <laughs> after games. It takes me a little while to calm down. I can like, you know, watch the film and oh yeah, I remember that happened now. Um, I think I remember snatching the rebound. Um, I kind of grabbed it with one hand. Um, in the Miami game, my wrist got a little bit messed up, so it's a little bit sore. Nothing major, but I was a little bit more limited to one hand today. Um, so I kind of just did that, um, and then 
Uh, I don't remember much. Block was on my guy, correct? I think I remember okay, that. Okay, okay. I, I, I do remember that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great help, Jay. Um, no, we kind of just ran our play, um, kind of just took what they gave us. Um, Johnson kind of was worried about the drive, and he, he kind of backed up a lot. So um, I had enough space to get off my shot and just shot it with confidence, and luckily it went in. Um, I mean, I think we're pretty good. Um, but then again, any any team in the ACC is good. And I think this year proved that. And um, whoever plays their best um, on that on that d given day, um, any team can beat anybody. So just try to stay focused and just try to play our best. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely matured in a lot of ways, uh, which has been really cool to see. I mean, he's only a second year, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, you're only a second year. Yeah, so, I, mean, yeah, yeah I, realize, I realize that. You still have a while before you're I know, night. I know. These kids these days. Kids. No, I can say that because I'm old. But, yeah. uh, no, I've definitely seen him mature in a lot of ways, uh, his confidence as well as the game. So. Um, I think just trust and just playing together. Um, I think we really like playing with each other, and um, I think we're just having a lot of fun out there, um, just competing with each other. And yeah, like I said, just having fun. And we know we can, what we can do and what we can accomplish. And um, we put our faith in the coaches, and we know they're going to put us in the right situations. Um, I treat it like uh, just uh, the, the rest of the games. Um, and I know our new job wasn't done yet. And we had to come in against a big caliber team uh, and get it done. I remember last time we played them, it was, it was we didn't execute really well, and I thought we look, or Kush also thought we look look warm and on defense at the beginning of the game, and that cost us towards the end. Mabdi, uh, Chris Mack said you guys are playing your best basketball at this point in the season. Just how dangerous is this team, given the teams you've beaten going into the ACC tournament? I don't think that's if that's our best basketball game yet, but it was a really good one. We needed this, uh, but we're gonna keep evolving, no matter what. Uh, like I just said, job is not done. We're gonna turn the page back uh, around our back and then um, focus on you know resting our bodies and getting ready for ACC tournament. It's gonna be three days back to back to back, so we have to know how to approach that. Maybe practice is going to be a little hard one day and then less. I don't know. They have, the coach knows their plan. So. Could you speak a little bit to uh, Kihei's development? And I don't know that people really know just how different his role is this year without Ty on the floor. What, how have you seen him develop in your time together? I mean, I think Ki is <laughs> he's the heart of the team, but people don't realize that. Uh, Sometimes I go online, I see some comments. I mean, it's, it's whatever. You know, Everyone can think what they, they want to think. But we know how valuable the kid is to us. He's, he does some unbelievable things. He's still young. People don't understand that. He's a second year. And, they want to, and yet they want to hold him to a higher standard, like a, a redshirt senior. But that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, that's, that's a good pressure. You know, The better you get, the more pressure you have. You, keep, you just keep taking challenges. But I think he's very valuable to us. Amity, you've talked a lot this year about how the tension of the last three games last season kind of prepared you for pressure situations this yeah. year. How much has that helped in this recent stretch where you keep winning by three points or less? And how much do you expect it to help going forward? I mean, it's experience. You've been there already. So whenever you're in that position, you just make sure you do the same thing. You don't rattle nothing. You just focus on what you got to do. You know, Usually, I would say before last year, if a crowd is going crazy, I, when I'm supposed to go on uh, in, in a line on the line to shoot free throws, and 
I'll, I'll probably ask them to quiet down, but to that I didn't care. I just went out there. I knew what was the job. Just shoot it. You get got to make it for your team to win. So whether they're screaming out loud or not, whether you're in your gym or another gym, you have to do it. You have to go through it. So last year prepared us uh, for that. Brad, Jeff, Mr. Well, senior days can sometimes be weird, you know? Senior days, a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. uh, you played your last game here. What are your emotions like coming out of this? Um, I, first, I just want to thank, you know, the Wow, wow fa uh, fans, you know, they've done a great job throughout the whole season and throughout my whole career here and the staff too, my teammates, you know, it's been changing a lot from the first, my first year to now. I can't believe that I played with Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to his, what, fourth year now in the NBA, through third year, something like that. He just signed a contract too, but, um, um, Again, you know, I'm seeing the big picture. I'm, I'm trying to, to go as far as this team can go. We're trying to go together and you know, make some right history. Uh, one time, when you do it one time, to people it's always over. It's not over. It's more pressure than the year before or you know, whatever, but you, you have to do more, even more in order to get there. So we know what's ahead of us. We're not done. That was a win. We're happy about it. We got to turn the page and focus on the next game. Jeff, you were still young at Blue Ridge when you started coming here to work out. Have you thought at all about just how many hours you've put in in this gym? You know, before you signed and after, and over five years. And you know, what has JPJ kind of meant to you? At this place? Um. JP, not only JPJ, the people around JPJ meant a lot to me. Smiley, just like me, nice, approaching you every time. I, I like that. And I'm, I, I mean, when I was coming here, I had an offer. I hadn't um, committed yet. I knew the, well, this is where I was going to come, a uh, great place. And I knew they were going to get me ready for, my, for, for the future. And, but it's funny that you said, <laughs> you said that I've been here. But how long was that ago? Like six, seven years? No, six years. Dang. I feel like I've been. Sheesh. That's, that's long. I'm, I'm old. I got to get out, right? <laughs> Bobby, can you just take me through that uh, individual matchup you had with uh, Wara in the second half? It's the player, you know, you're generally guarding bigs. He's mm -hmm. more of a guy out on the wing, just take me through that battle you had. Um, I just took the challenge, you know. Um, <laughs> he's a player. I mean, I, I got to stop him if he's the one scoring. I mean, I was just doing my job out there. Uh, reason why I wasn't playing him like my first game. In my first game, I think he scored on me once. Uh, that's it. But uh, today he scored me break three, three times or four times. But that's because I wasn't locking up on him. I was I was playing my team defense, help, and then get back to your men. You know, four or four in, one on the ball. The reason why he got those, but I'm not, I wasn't worried about that. I was worried about winning. He got 18. What? We won. So. Mamadi, you got to your spot late in the second half, and uh, you were guarding Jordan, and he, you know, they gave it, I think it was a no call the first time. <laughs> and it, it happened again. You, you looked like you thought you had your spot, and then it happened again, you got the charge call. Did anything yeah. go through your mind differently on that second go round, or? I mean, hey, I, had, I have nothing to say about the refs, <laughs> but I thought it was the same, the same thing. You know, he hit me, he lowered his shoulder, and. I thought, yeah, I mean, I felt. So it's supposed to be a call, but if they didn't call it, cool. I'm going to keep playing. 